Welcome back, Zinki and the Overwatch Summer Championship be, uh, groupie between New York Esports and Bori Aces. It's going to be the loser's game, so one of these teams going home already. First off, Aces, how do you feel about this situation? Well, obviously we're not uh, as confident uh, as we would have been if we started with win, but we started against Team Giganti, which is like a world-class team, and it was kind of hard match for us, as you might imagine. So we're looking forward to this match, and we've played against some of the players in Nuriki. So we feel kind, kind of confident. What about you guys? How did you use your break after the nail biter against Helsinki Reds? I think some of us went outside for a walk, and some of us ate some food, and we got our game plan together, and we've come here to win. Do we see some fireworks happening on these three maps? Maybe, you'll see. Any last comments? Well, we came here to win here, and uh, we'll see on the playing fields who will win. All right, please shake hands, and while they go back to their teams, it is time to head to our commentators. Jason, please take it away. Tompa, sulla oli hyvä syke. Jatka siitä, mihin jäit. No, no, you can't talk. You can't talk. I have to take it away. I was going to tell you to take it away. No, no, he already told me to take it away. So, yeah, hello, everyone. Welcome. This is the uh, Jason Kaplan Show as we're kicking off another match. I'm as, joined. As we lose thousands of viewers immediately. Let me go check. And we gain <laughs> 7,000. And, and they gone. all think I'm Jeff Kaplan. And they're gone. <laughs> um, yeah, so now here with Hexagrams as we're about to kick off our penultimate match of tonight. Yep. Aces up against Nuriki. Nuriki. New, new, Ricky. new Ricky, not old Ricky, new Ricky. Yeah, new Ricky. Oh, Ricky you have to kind of say the why. It's weird. I feel very bad for the hosts. The, the Finnish are people of few words. Uh, I've read that the interviewing has to be difficult to people that do not like answering questions, do not like eye contact, personal Talking. space. Yes, uh, humanity. Um, I don't know a lot of things. I've, I've liked Finland so far, but they they're uh, a tough nut to crack. <laughs> the people, I suppose, would be. A, a way to put it. Anyway, let's talk about Overwatch. I'm more yeah, comfortable please, talking about Overwatch. I, you're going to make me say things I shouldn't Yeah, have I know. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm um, We're going to kick it off on Li Zhang Tower. Uh, we, we talked actually earlier when we got the map picks and bans that there's definitely a meta in, in Finland. So that we've seen all the maps are in the pool, by the way. Every single map in Overwatch is in the yep. pool. And then we ban them out until we get to three. And we've seen like five maps total in the tournament so far. They know what they like and they like what they know. Yeah. You know? Uh, the Finnish like me yeah, Finnish ordering com food. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to try anything new. I know what I want. Finnish commentator said, uh, well, everyone's trying to play mind games, but they all play the same maps anyway. So we're like, what mind games could you possibly play? It's like, uh, oh no, you tricked us into Lee Shang Tower. Uh-oh. <laughs> One of our only right. true control, uh, control maps we play. Yeah, no, so we have Aces coming off the back of a loss against Giganti. Yeah. Uh, that was a very quick game. It looks a little finished. shaken, actually, just based on, like, uh, we had to play a world-class team. Like, I think they got, we didn't see it, obviously. That was one of the, was the match of the day. It was offline. I mean, we, we did see it a little bit because I saw them sit down, then 10 minutes later, I saw them get up. Yeah, so they got rocked in it. Yeah. We, it's safe to assume that they got rocked in that one, and hopefully it didn't shake. Hopefully they can bounce back from it. Uh, whereas, Nuriki played pretty close in, in their previous match. It was, yeah. it was very close to them, and Helsinki, Helsinki which, which could be a rematch, Helsinki is waiting in the decider match for the winner of this, and that will be our last set of the evening. Then tomorrow we got semis and finals. We don't start till 8 p.m. CEST. Okay, I don't know time zones. You which know that. is 11 a.m. PST. Okay, what what is that? EST. That is 3 p.m. Three hour difference, right? I, yeah, I, I 3 p.m. Sure. Yeah. Right. EST. All right. Don't just don't ask me what what the time zone is in Russia because it's like four time zones Russia I, I is a part of. About three minutes ago, I had to ask you what day it was. So clearly, it's actually sadly true. <laughs> clearly, you're, I'm pretty. No, no, you're like, what time is it where where I'm? You know, in Chicago. Yeah. It's like eleven. It's like a.m. or p.m. I'm just like, dude. Dude, I, I, how I, I don't know. How messed up for you? It's been. Yeah, I've been. I've had like four hours of sleep and. 39 hours and those were all like plane hours of sleep those don't so count. Not, yeah those really count as yeah no or, not at all it doesn't really count as sleep on a plane where you're jostled like awake minutes. every 20 minutes yeah pretty much um no but so something like helsinki reds we talked about is that they're owned by a ice hockey team yes they are um same for aces uh in yes. Korea, finland yeah. so there's a lot of pressure on them to perform here 
you know, you kind of wonder if you're if you're if your ace is poor or poor aces, I think it's called, sorry, or your Helsinki Reds, and mm -hmm. you see NIP is no longer with an with an organization. I'm curious why they don't try to pick them up, right? Right. Because you're picking up a, a much more known team. If not better, you're picking up a much more known team. Yeah, it's it's difficult to say what contracts look like and the kind of investment they're looking for. I mean, it's true. Look, despite. NIP being sponsorless for the moments they were, they're a team that would demand a certain amount. They, they're yeah, but if you're it. an ice hockey like team, like a club, but like, yeah, I, that's I, like saying Manchester United. Okay, that's like no, saying the San Francisco 49ers can't pay out, you know, well, two grand per player a month. There, there might be different levels of financial ability there, or what they're just willing to put in these financial sports. ability. It's financial ability. Yes, it's tough to ask. It's getting late. The next, uh, our second map is going to be Hollywood. So again, the meta, it's, uh, these are the maps that we've seen all day. And if we do need a third map, it is Ace's pick, and it would be Watchpoint Gibraltar. Yet again, nothing new. No one's going to assault. We're going to kick it off here on Lijong Tower, right into the control center. And teams have, like, a little bit different strategy. They're not just braveharding against each other right in the middle. Each team taking a different side. And we've got a Doom Fist on the field. The side of Aces is, how do you say that, Jason? Go ahead, give it a shot. Oh, yeah, that's Karva Ruska. Karva Ruska. Well, Karva. It's Karva from now on, and Karva's going to be jumping Karva. and using that moment. <laughs> Karva Ruska. Karva Ruska. Yeah, Karva, got it. Uh, and Karva, Karva Ruska. Karva Ruska. Karva Ruska. Right. We're going for it. Do the, do the whole thing. Karva Ruska. Karva Ruska. Come on, you could say RV, yeah. but you can't say Karva Ruska. All right. Karva Ruska is not so getting that much. Like Ruska? I, I, yeah. That does sound delicious. I would, I would go some first some couscous right now. But it was Twitty early on, and he was actually the big uh, standout for them earlier. Of course, we yeah. mentioned Twitty X Splice. X a lot of things. He's been all around the European circuit a lot. He had a couple of very early kills for Ricky, and that allowed him to take first point here on control. Still dominating the fight, and that is a mischarge and discorded. That means that Reinhardt not long for his world. Desolator gets isolated, and he's taken out shortly after. And it is Oss and Twitty. I think if, if uh, Ricky has any chance going through, if they end up winning this match, it is going to be off the back of those two players who showed up very strong against Helsinki earlier. All the way of Ricky right now, as they get all of it, 53% and counting up. I'm going to be a little bit nitpicky, nitpicky really quickly for Dustin later. Uh, you know, seeing the Reinhardt since I played a lot of them, like in season three, season four. Yeah. You never let your shield expire. You never let your shield get killed. Like you never let it break. Because yeah. you have a longer cooldown for that, then it has to build back up to 2k, then just let it drop with like 1 HP and then let it naturally build back up to 2k. Right. Like that's something you should just not have happen. Maybe he just wasn't focused on that. Maybe he's a little bit nervous playing in front of a crowd. Sure. Either way, that's just like minor mistakes that you shouldn't have happen. Well, it's also you want to save a little bit just in case like an emergency thing you need to block for, for like last second. Just save 50 yeah. HP on it so that if you have to throw it out there, you do and you do have it. They do get a kill off of their Doomfist, but so far it's been rather quiet for Tarva on that Doomfist. It's been quiet for most people on Aces, to be honest, not just him on the Doomfist. It has been all new Ricky so far and now going in one-on-one -on -one because they have to 98 percent but that means the diva's going to be there all alone tracer comes in tries to get something done and just not a great position to be in they're forced to use barrier early on but it's met with a tactical visor over the top this barrier comes in they get no kills off of it and so far aces has found no footing to stand on here no other way to say it there's just been nothing good going for them yeah i mean well, Hill's been going against them. I don't yeah. think they picked up really that many of the entirety of that first point here on Lijong Tower. But, I mean, it's hard to analyze them from just, like, you know, that first time. Because we didn't actually yeah. get to see, like, the no, initial get-go of the maps yeah. and, like, how comps kind of, like, built themselves right. out. And once you have control of the point, obviously, a lot easier. The best yeah. thing they had going for them there was the name of their Ana player, Mr. Hamster. It's a great name. It is a great name. I like Jaipa, actually. That was a good name. Yeah? Jaipa. Is that, what's it mean? Or Ronsky. Jaipa? I don't know. Do I speak Finnish? <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I, I didn't know I'm Finnish now. I, don't, I, I totally you know, fit into the tall, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes, you, you like Viking the, you like beard, the name. I thought clearly. You, I thought you might know it. I don't, you, just, you just liked it. Right. How'd you get the name Hexagrams? Oh, it, yeah, I've told this story before. It was a song playing on my iPod when I got banned in a PS3 account, so I just picked a new name, and it was, it's a song. It's a Deftone song. I mean, I, I, my old nickname used to be but, but, but I Love You, so I can't really argue too much with you right. when it comes to nicknames. And now your nickname is just not Jeff. No, Jason, no relation, Kaplan. Yeah, that no was great. That was uh, Admiral wrote that. That was great. Yeah, yeah. Admiral okay. comes up with new names for you over time. I wonder if, how he's going to keep doing that. 
Yeah, I don't know. Jason, not Jeff Kaplan. He's, he's a writer. Kind of like, that's kind of his we'll thing. We'll see how right? much longer he can keep doing that. Yeah, for. We'll see how writer <laughs> he really is. And we kick back into Night Market here already. New rookie in control of this map, pushing through the doorway. They do capture first points. Rather uncontested there. Didn't see exactly how that one kicked off. And they're already in control. And it's been dominant for them so far. I think you could count on one hand the amount of kills that Ace has had in the last round. And they're going to have to find something here. Not looking great so far. There's three. Now four kills come off very easily for New Ricky. And Jason, we haven't seen much of Aces. But they've shown nothing that I can't even tell you what their path to victory is. Who has to play well? Who has to do something? Because anyone has to do anything at this point. Um, well, so to be fair for them, they're actually running with a substitute. Um, TP is normally their main support player, and Jaipa had to come in for them, yeah. a little uh, team friend of theirs. So it's going to be really difficult for him to kind of meld with the team, even if they if they lost Tippy, who was, you know, the caller. Right. Uh, then Kavarasku has to kind of really step up if they want to, I think, have a chance to put up a good fight against New York it's, so, it's a completely fair caveat because not only are you replacing your caller, you're replacing your Lucio, and so he's got to do at least do some calling on Lucio. It's kind of a, it comes to the territory of being a Lucio. And to have to replace that last second for a tournament is not easy to do. No. That in mind, they still have to now push into five ultimates on the side of New Ricky into Night Market. And maybe, you're right, it's got to be one of the DPS to maybe put this team in his back. Dragon Blade comes in from... Uh, Parva, able to get one, that's it. Ah, uh, able to get two there. Don't laugh at me. Kovarowski is just carving his way through the enemy team here, ah, trying to take the point back. Clever. Still the man contested it, but he's actually on 43 HP. He's looking for the health back, he's gonna pick that up. But in the meantime, New Ricky's been able to pick up quite a few kills, Carry gets himself a double, and Kovarowski, the carving, the butcher's not gonna be enough. He's gonna be going down towards the depths to his death. And the Ruki going to be holding yet again at 95%. There's actually going to be no concession, I believe, now the Transcendence, everything being thrown at it, just to make sure they can throw it into overtime. But committed Transcendence to throw it overtime is never the best story. Yeah, Ashley trying to get on the point there, but it is the self destruct of Tondra, which is going to zone them out. Two quick goals. Ashley does get one of his own, so it's not quite over yet, but it's hard to have confidence in this Aces team to be able to bring it back. They've shown us very little thus far. And while the delay is in, it is just going to be a delay. Two stages to zero in short order for New Ricky Esports. All right. So looking pretty strong here. Again, Aces, we did see a little bit of life out of them with the slicing and dicing of the Genji. Slicing and dicing. The Butcher, will call him. I think that's a great name. But Kavarasku just wasn't enough by himself to really pull that one back. There's just a lot of... Yeah. I think I think it's like they're getting aggressed on it. I think they don't know how to deal with the aggression, which is like kind of throwing them off. They kind of like split in different directions, and then they... Like, don't know how to bounce back from that. Like, to retreat together as one, then to come back in. Well, the, the, I think a lot of that is losing your caller. Is do we do we go in on, on aggression? Do you match See, aggression with aggression? I, I don't think a caller should be should f losing a caller shouldn't change the mindset of being a player of knowing to back off. Yeah, your style shouldn't kind of change thing. that much yeah. just by losing your Lucio. I I agree with you to an extent, but it's also maybe maybe they're trying to babysit him a little bit of like, this is how we do that. I don't know. There's, maybe. I mean, I'm trying to find the reason why it's going so poorly for them. And of course the substitute could be one of those reasons. Now, Mr. Hamster is on the uh, mercy, but early on already, Desolator finds himself out of position. And so this pharmacy combo is going to be in the air. Harvard gets one, but it's only half a one. And again, just all new Ricky Esports, short order, taking them apart. And may, it's got to have to be, I, I don't know if they generally run pharmacy, but I mean, you might as well try it. Nothing you've done has worked out so far. Yeah, Ashielli did get booped off too by Perry, who seems to be picking up quite a few kills actually over the course of the Zhong Tower. Aura Ken coming in, the concussion blast, not going to actually knock anyone away. And Tapamasa here, to next to point, actually some protection from his own tracer, but Kavarovsky finally able to pick up a kill here. He's actually known for his tracer more than his Genji, but... I don't know, like, the thing is, you can only do so much right, of a couple. Yeah, they got a couple, though. The combo's actually coming in over top. That is three kills. This is the best they've shown so far. Signs of life coming out here from Aces as they will clean up some kills. Gonna be stalled out here by Oz, but only momentarily. Will they capture the point? I'm rooting for them, to be honest. You never want to see a team get completely dominated throughout. And maybe this could be the beginning of a turnaround for them. The stall's been really nice, though, from the record. Yeah, this fight, they're still stalling. Yeah, it's completely in favor of Aces early on and has been since, but 
Yureki is simply refusing to get off the point. In fact, yeah, Primal Rage is going to come out. That's a smart pop from them. Oh, no. They will They've Primal the Rage. Oh, God. So Primal Rage, Pulse Bomb come back. And even though they started off and were winning the fight for what seemed like nearly a minute, they will have nothing to show for it at the end as that progress reverts. Aces goes home empty. I'm not sure how Hamster got caught there. Obviously, like when you're on the point contesting it, it's really hard to play a Mercy. Because there's only like one place you can hide. It's off towards that left hand side, like behind the window, or, like under the window on the outside of the wall. Yeah. Because you just don't have like a safe avenue. Maybe towards White Room, White Halls, you could potentially go in for, but he gets caught off, dies, they lose that res. Uh, and, and Ast and, and Twitty just able to pick up those kills. Well, they're able to get a pulse bomb, so now the Lucio out of it. Lucio out of it from both sides, actually. The Transcend will also come in. Visor come to res. Popped off from Mr. Hamster, and that's followed by a barrage to get to. So now they are in a small lead in this fight so far. Karva comes in. Karva's doing his best. He's been getting a lot of kills. There's another one yet again. Harry comes in, takes down his counterpart. And during all this, it was flipped over. Aces has control of the point, Jason. That's a build up percent here. Now, Nariki probably just need to, you know, regroup back up. No point to contest any longer, though. They probably could continue to play that game up to 99% if they did manage to hold the point. But here we go, Aces. Giant Fiddles have sound barrier, but they pretty much committed everything else into that fight. They use the res. They're going to have a pulse bomb momentarily. self destruct to be very hard for Ronsi to escape. Does actually get away from that just by dropping a little bit too low with the cover of the building. That was a boop in onto Ash Shelly again. That's not the first one that's happened. That's the second time Perry's done that to him. Yeah, that's tough, especially when you have a mobility that allows you to fly and it's on a pretty short cool run. This means he was completely unprepared for it, probably flew into him. To be fair, also, maybe off. Perry was timing it really well. He, yeah, saw, he saw the yeah. opportunity to him, like, all right, he did he used his booster. It's a free kill. Just used it and then able to get him off over there. However, they still have not flipped this back over. Ashielli is back into the point, and actually, after getting previously booped off, he's going to take two down with him. Now, the big loss is just Mr. Hamster right there, but Aces is doing well to get themselves back into this fight. And this pulse bomb from Osp right there, it's still unable to pull it back. They got that about 66%, yeah. but uh, unable to actually finish the fight, going to have to fully reset here. I mean, there's only so much you can do as a tracer there if you hit a pulse bomb, unless you get like a three or four mana. Then you still have the threat of that resurrection out of Mr. Hamster on the Mercy, so... 80% now for them, Aces, as you mentioned, getting relatively close to potentially picking up a first map here on the Yuzhong Tower. Ronsi, though, immediately going to die to Tondra. He gets directly in his face here. He's trying to survive for I himself. think you have to res it. Yeah, you get two down. There he goes. Yeah. Come back in. But now, Sombear is still going to be there for Nuriki a little bit of time. Going to have that extra support from that ultimate. Barrage going to take down Baba. And Ace is still looking pretty good here. At least they're going to hit the 99% mark. And so far, I don't really see much pressure going towards Ronsky here in the air. No, not at all. They don't really have the tools to be able to deal with him in the air. And they have not really even tried. They've been uh, focusing on dominating the ground war, which they've done very well. And so far, though, the air is taking over. We've seen this. Oh, Baba oh, gets a double no. kill. Triple kill. This man is going off here at just the perfect time for them, too, to not let Lee Jung Tower go at all. But if he pop an attack visor, you can't run away from this win. So he's going to fall. The overtime was ticked away, too, because it was off the point. But they've shoved him all back. They're capturing the point now for themselves. 85% here. And Aces have to get back to the point really quickly. They don't have a res. They don't really have anything to work with here. But they have to be fast. They might be able to get to a pulse bomb somewhere in here, about 80%. We've seen how effective those can be. Carva has been the bright spot for this team when it comes to straight-up GPS play, so maybe he can bring it back for his team. He's on the point, dancing around, trying to put a little pressure, trying to get them out of position mostly. That's not necessarily the Oh. Off the edge from the concussion. That is a nice way to start from Ronsky. They're going to self-destruct onto the point. No takers there, though. Going back and forth. Diva still in here. It is off. He takes down Desolator. Back and forth. Ash Yelly. And Zube, or Zapia rather, take it down. But Hamster out of this fight dies with resurrection in hands. Again, a little bit of fortune for him. The Mercy needs to stay alive here. Ronski won't have the healing he needs. You can see the amp it up coming in time and time again out of parry. Off the of cool. He's at 88%, 89, now 90. If you get a sound bear off here, this could be exactly the closest now. But maybe it's Baba to pick up these kills. Here. <gasps> no! Oh! He was in the window. He wasn't close enough to touch the point. And they let that one slip by. Oh, that can't happen. I mean, the barrage is nice from the window. It's a decent angle on that point. Always has been, but it doesn't count as you on the point. They had it there, and just a tough moment. They had, they started looking better, though. I mean, based on the first two stages, it was it was a stomping. That one, they looked a little bit closer, and I yeah. think a lot of it was uh, the pharmacy did a little bit of work, did a lot of pressure, and it made Carvis' job easier. You saw him get more kills, and a lot of that we was... We played Tracer, not Genji, this time, too. Yes, and, but he was able to use the mobility dash around and clean up some of those rocket kills. Like, the, the rocket would chunk in, and then he's on the ground clearing it up. So, looked a little bit better for them. 
Uh, they just got absolutely smacked down first couple stages. No other way to say that one. They they got they got beaten, beaten very very, nice very beatly. Yes, that's the nicest way to put it. Smacked down. So that shows you exactly what happened there. We're gonna go to what is our next map? Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. Hollywood next, and that is New Ricky's choice there. They are up 1-0. If they win Hollywood, they will be going to the decider match against Helsinki Reds. It yep. should be a good one. Yeah, it, it's a rematch earlier if that happens. Yes, and it was, it, was a good, it was a good match earlier. Yeah. All right, so... I'm trying to wonder, you know, first point, Hollywood is not necessarily easy at all. No. And I'm wondering if, you know, Aces attacks first, which I, 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 I can probably it, tell it, you because yeah. I do have the game hey, out you're, you're in client. Um... It looks like they will be defending first. I'd say, like, if they're attacking first and they don't take that first point, I think that's going to be so much pressure on their shoulders. And, like, they're going to be so down on themselves mentally of, like, yeah, we yeah. didn't get even the first tick or the second tick. And sure. You have to now hold them for the entirety of this. Like, that's, right. that's like, putting yourself out of the match before it's even begun. Yeah, I, I can see that happening. I can see them getting broken there. Also, even just not even touching the point where you have someone alive also is kind of a... Yeah, you got to take a step back from that and be like, all right, so it's over, it's fine. Are you afraid of a team? No. Hmm. What is there a team known for that? Don't know. Uh. Sorry, right. we're getting really tired. We've been well. I mean, the thing is, like, I didn't sleep very well because the, the sun rises at 3 a.m. here. It does rise at 3 a.m. And you've been traveling for like 27 hours. Yeah, I would have gone back to sleep at like five when I woke up. Uh, but then was, you that didn't was, like, realize the door between our two rooms and yeah. running door, and I'm sitting there knocking the entire time. I know. Play with me. Let's go have fun. No, I didn't realize we have, like, awesome blackout curtains. Because I'm used to just having to deal with the sun when it comes up. Like, because you, know, you have blinds and you have curtains, but, like, what do they really do? Unless Every, you have, like, like Nordic curtains? country has them. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've never, I, I wasn't expecting that. So then I got up to shut the curtains, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's actually dark in here. I could have yeah. gone back to sleep. Didn't work out that way. All right, so Hollywood, uh, they're going to be on defense first, but do you think that you run... I mean, the only thing they've really had decent success with is that pharmacy so far. So do you think on their attack? No, you don't I, I think it was just a Helsinki lost the point. And then they just struggle to take it back. Yeah. Even though, like, keep in mind, like, we say, we're saying aces look good on on uh, Night Garden there. Yeah. Garden. Big garden. Um, but let's be honest. Like, when they were captured the point initially and they had, like, three kills, they never even took the point. Yeah, it took, it took them a while. And Nariki held, no, Nariki held the point. Yeah. After being down, like, three, four men. Right. Because of some, like, great individual plays. It, it so, was, like, that's why I can't necessarily say they played a lot. I, mean, they, I, I can't say they played well. They played better. They didn't play worse. <laughs> that's tr that, let's, that let's is just, true. That, just, that is true. Let's really get the semantics of it right now. Well, defensively, Aces is not going to run a pharmacy. You don't see a pharmacy on defense here anyway. And Ana Lucio will be the order for them on their supports. Offensively for New Ricky, it is going to be a very dive composition and a 76 thrown in the mix as well. You'd like to get your 76 on this high ground here, and that is why up the stairs, down he goes. That is three quick kills, 63 right now, and it looks like New Ricky just going to take this point with ease. That was like a home alone. Oh, charge shot onto Mr. Hamster, peeking out of his cage. Oh, get back in, in the wheel. <laughs> power of my computer. Um, no, I was going to say, that was like a home alone level kind of trap they set up for that tracer there. Yeah. He came up the staircase and all the marbles came down and he just fell all the way to his death. Dude, home Alone is a terribly violent movie if you watch it. Like, the things he does to those robbers is, like, horrific. You ever get hit in the head with a paint can? Me either, but it seems like it would hurt <laughs> a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Paint cans are heavy and they're metal. Have you ever stepped on tacks? Yes, they, that hurts. Yeah, it, it does. hurts a lot. It very well does. So what I'm saying is Kevin's a jerk, and he's uh, those guys are just trying to help. All right, <laughs> <laughs> trying to help him reach enlightenment. You don't need material things to be happy, Kevin. Learn your lesson. All right, so I mean, his parents left him at home. Like, what does that say about his parents? They're, they're he's had smart. a very hard childhood. They're okay, getting, they're getting away from that little psycho. Is what they're doing. <laughs> So, Visor comes up off over the top, trading kills back and forth. Bob is going to be on the cleanup here, and they will get the offensive there. So, a nice little flank there from the offensive 76 to get in position there. This Diva's not long for the world as they will collapse onto that one, looking for a little bit more. As they rotate around, the offense has gone nonstop. Haven't need to use too many alts either. They did use the Visor. They had to transcend up either, but Aces has not been able to find much of an hamster. Hamster, hamster with the answer. Might be a nano boost onto a target here. I know what I did. I, find a bit. I don't know what you did. I'm just happy that Nena and chat is getting our backs here when it comes to why we're getting derailed so easily. Because we're tired. Yeah, we're very it's, tired. it's all right. You know, sometimes we have, we have energy dumps. We do actually have some. I'm really <laughs> tempted to try it. Tondra gets himself a nice double kill on the Shy Pun. Ronski, though, 
This player does get Nana boosted, but doesn't really accomplish too much. He didn't even dive in towards the backline, which kind of confused no. me. When you have a Zenyatta there, you can easily pick off here. But Tapo, oh, not going to get the kill, but he's forced to the Rage out. Desolator is getting angry here. Nariki going to be looking to push this payload further, but they've also got quite a few men. Yeah, the Primal Rage, almost necessary there, because you don't want to lose a 1v1 versus Zenyatta. That's just demoralizing. And despite that coming through, they force out the sound barrier onto the side of the defense. And if they can escape, well, they cannot, as a false bomb comes in on the chase. Parry out of it, Tondra down of it. And it is Karva who has been the saving grace, the candle in the dark night for this Aces team. As now they reset, hard's pretty far, so it's always gonna be hard for the offense to get the push that they need to get this fight going. Excuse Defense me. gonna take advantage of this, set up a little bit on the rooftop, so finally stabilizing. And this is how Hollywood's gone most of the day through this tournament, is that the first point goes right away, they get a really nice push, and then this is generally the area where it stabilizes. I like to play the Death Slayer, though. Tries to actually dive into the Diving Winston Twitty, but the thing is, Ronsky dies immediately here because of the Discord, but I think a nice connection out of top of Ask executed as he lays right down there. However, his team does get some kills of their own. Two and a half off the board right now. That will be the full half onto the Baby Diva cleaned up there. And now Zenyatta comes alive, gets himself a couple of kills there. This should be second point for Nuriki. It will be just that. Well, contestant comes in Same. from a, a oh, tracer no. that they didn't even see. The, the peel comes they in. They dove too yeah. early. They were chasing. They dove way too early, and they didn't realize there's still a tracer who can test the payload. They all have to fall back, giving Aces another chance to go for the defense here. Nice power grenade comes to the sound going to provide him a lot of extra HP. And that attack fire is looking to pick up some kills here. Baba looking to respond with his own, though, as he's just running around the side. Not going to be competing any other ones off the back of this, though. And they will take this point eventually here. That, that was what they did the first point, right? They immediately rushed straight through to lock him in the spawn. Yeah, you can see the tracer behind. He was stepped on the point, stole out that payload push. 337 remains on the clock as the assault continues here for New Ricky. So do you think maybe you put a boost on to Winston here and let him primal rage out of it? Do you, do you boost Ronsky on the 76? He's been kind of quiet on that hero. Well, there's a D.Va, so I would I'd maybe say throw it over to uh, Desolator and have him jump directly on the top yeah, of Yeah, exactly top what they do. Monster, because he, he's going to have his Transcendent soon, and if you can eliminate him before that, you'd have uh, such a huge lead. Well, they do end up using it on the Winston as Self-Destruct comes out, zones out the rest of the team. Ronsky unable to find cover behind that. Self-Destruct will take him down. They will double down in their efforts, though, as here comes the sound barrier. Get out of the way, Octopus. We're trying to watch the game. <laughs> These space monsters, we don't want you. <laughs> It's Kodos and Trang, man. They're trying to make their, their cameo appearance. Gotta get those fees. A double kill off of the visor takes up both supports, which means that this payload is going to keep on moving. Desolator goes down late. Now looking for it. I think they know there's a tracer around. Unable to find it. Discord goes off onto that tracer, pushed her out. No nice alts on either side of the field here. Gonna be a pretty, pretty vanilla last push here. Yeah, it's been a while since we've actually been able to see like vanilla last pushes and ultimate's not really too close. Ost is going to have his up in just a few seconds with that pulse bomb. Looking to probably catch onto the D.Va to allow Bar uh, Baba to come up big. Does he get the D suit with the pulse bombs? So there you go. But the thing is, they've already lost out onto him and they're losing out onto quite a few more here. Top boom also being forced back. Pulse bomb not going to connect. And they've been able to repel them. Ashielli coming up pretty big when they needed him. Yeah, Ashielli with that D.Va play. And now they're on the chase, able to take them down. So they're going to have to fully reset on the offense. Next offensive push will be accompanied by Sounder, should they so choose to use it. Defensively, they're going to have the tactical visor up as we are under two minutes now for New Ricky to be able to close out the map. My oh, just setting up, poking up back and forth. And I, I think they should use the sound very offensively, and they do just that as they dive in. Ronsky's still holding on to this visor. I don't want to find a different angle, but I might have to use it soon. It's been a slow fight. Most of these fights have been slow fights, not flashy at all. You know, the Vice does come in, but I think he misread, you know, what Tondra was doing with his, uh, with his Diva there because he actually mitigates most of it. Also to get a kill onto his, uh, onto his counterpart, Okarva. But Tapa Masa from the back here with the uh, Zenyatta able to get the kill on Aronsky as he's trying to contest the payload. They're still losing person by person by person. Mr. Hamster has a transcendence, is forced to use it just to stay alive and help keep some teammates alive. The problem is now he's the only one remaining. He's going to contest the for a second longer. Attack is going to come in. Diva uh, is not even going to be here because Ashley has been picked off. And they're going to finish the payload. They're going to push it across the line and finish with just under a minute remaining. 57 seconds remain. So for New Ricky, if they want to get to this decider match, they have to stop Aces from finishing the map. Should Aces finish, 
We'll do Hollywood again, and we'll see how it shakes out. But Nureki up 1-0 in this map. Should we need a third map, Jason, Watchpoint Gibraltar will be the one we go to. We haven't had too many three-mappers today, have we? No, I think only the one. Boom and versus I... RV and Nureki against Reds. Yeah. Not too many. So that would, that would be the next match anyway, the cider map, Nureki versus Helsinki Reds. If it, if it happens. Would. If it happens. Can't count aces out just yet. Not yet. Um, Maybe they'll pull an ace out of their sleeve. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> You're 12. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, we're, we're, we're a little bit wrecked here. Um, but we're enjoying the games. Uh, we're enjoying seeing a lot of yeah, people no, in the Finnish community that you normally don't get to see in like the likes of contenders. It's always or nice. Or it, yeah. I've, I've always liked tournaments where I don't necessarily know every single team because if you don't know any of the teams, it's hard to judge where a team is because it's like, well, they beat this team, but is that team any good? But now when you have known quantities and, you, and your game is Origin and then your uh, uh Giganti. I just want to call them NIP every time. I mean, yeah. they were NIP for so long. Um, but now you have known quantities, it's easier to judge. GIP. <laughs> it's easier to judge where it's If you're is. laughing at that joke, then clearly you were way but more you, tired than well, I But you am. know that I laugh at everything. It's kind of like my, my biggest flaw and greatest attribute. I find everything funny. I genuinely find it. Yeah, it's charming, I think. My mom says I'm handsome. All right. It's a millhouse. Come on, man. You can't leave me alone on the millhouse reference. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I just had to throw something there. So yeah, so we're going into Hollywood, yes. uh, second half. Uh, do you think we're legitimately going to see Aces take the first point? Because they looked actually a lot better on defense there. I'll give them that. A lot yeah. more comfortable on, on well, hybrid than on control. The thing is, I haven't, I haven't seen really Hollywood first point defense in a very long time. It's been missing just across the board from teams. I don't think there's... We haven't had a full hold. No, we, that was Nabani that we had a full hold. Yeah, today. but I'm saying just uh, overall through like all the tournaments beyond this tournament, Hollywood first point defense is just whatever. People have been flying through Hollywood offenses that totally adjusted. It's been very difficult for defenses to hold here. <laughs> Aces is going to try a defensive doom fist. Or an offensive doom fist, sorry. He's playing a defensive offensive doom fist. Yes. But he plays very defensive one on top with him. Something like that. Yeah. We'll see how it works out. Obviously, like with the way you hold supports inside Cafe, it is very easy to hit these charges into these walls and take up these clean kills. But with 9 HP, he's not really going to have a chance here. And Ricky, you're already off to a strong start. She's going to finish off this Winston. This is going to fall down. And there you go. Initial start. The only is Baba. Only man. It's really going to be interesting to see if they can get a stagger here, too, because Ashley now out of mech, now sitting by the dumpster, and they are just waiting. Ring around the dumpster, not necessarily the game you want to be playing. And they're going to clean him up rather late. Finally goes down. A nice stagger there from New Ricky. And now you put Aces in a tough spot. You, you have to wait the five seconds for her to come up. You see the Lucio Taxi getting back there to try to get him back into this, but nice stagger. I remember being younger and playing Ring around the dumpster, but I had no friends, so I was playing by myself. Yeah. You were also living in the dumpster. Yeah, this was Ring around the house for me. Yeah. That's what I called it. <laughs> uh, Rock Punch going to come through. Actually going to get Diva directly into the wall here and the D suits of Tonder. Very nice. Not looking good, but they get the kill as well, so that's exactly what they needed that initiation. Now the Doomfist allows them to pick up that first kill, but still it's not over just yet. The Transcends going to be coming through. We're going to see the Meter Strike come through as well. Baba gets in the house just in the nick of time, does survive, and gets punched into a wall as Ramsey's going to finish off that kill. But Twitty again, we talked about him as being the real stand-up player so far for the Ricky Esports. Yeah. He's been able to pick up quite a few, kill quite a few kills here on this defense. Actually, uh, Nuriki is one of those teams where I think the talent is pretty evenly distributed. Uh, towards the top, of course, I think Twiddly and, uh, Twitty and Oz have had themselves good games. I always want to call them Twiddly because, like, Tiddlywinks. I don't know why, just Kevin. Is that a TV show? No, Tiddlywinks was, like, a, a very terrible Teletop? childhood game. Oh. Uh, no, that you're thinking of Tinky Winky. Oh, my God. Get it, get it straight. All right, offense comes back in here again. We see if they get that great initiation from Doomfist yet again. Bully back into the cafe is the defense of Nuriki. But now they rotate around. They're going to come back down. A sound barrier comes in for the offense, though, and that's a nice start off. Again, the initiation from Carp on Doomfist has been great. Punches the monkey into the wall. The rocket chart, or rocket punch is going to come through by the time. Baba's uh, attack visor are pretty much useless. Nolan Boyd gets forced back, at least scared. Uh, the Desolator in his from RH4. And the thing is, the kills are not done just yet. The point is being captured. Woody's finally going to go down. And I can pretty much call it on my side for Nuriki to be able to take this one back. The transcends maybe a little bit questionable, but they want to be able to secure this point at the minimum, considering they had a minute left. Yeah. But it's the transcend you would love to be able to keep for this next point. Right now, Rouse can punish, trying to chase something there. Is able to not get the kill onto the Zenyatta. 
that transcend. It was kind of forced because there was a little bit of pressure, but the field needed to be there so he wouldn't have to use transcend. And also, even if you die there, it's just that big of a deal. But as you mentioned, using all of your stuff to make sure that you get first point completely understandable. Doomfist now out of the game as Carp yeah. is going to switch over to Genji. And they have no ultimates to actually get out of this choke point. You can see how scared they're actually playing because you have Os with the post bomb you have as well as Transcendence, which is going to be used immediately here. Maybe a little preemptively. He didn't even get Dove. I didn't really take too much damage, but in the meantime, Rollinsky towards the back isn't really being forced out. He's not really have any pressure. Pride him. Uh, Pride him is finally Twitty's going to be the one to turn around and actually say, hey, I do see you there. And Perry's going to eventually pick up the kill. He really wanted that Zenyatta, but was unable to find it. Zenyatta did a good job of hiding behind his teammates, using the meat shields that are his allies to stay out of that. And unable to finish off the kill is Ronsky on that Tracer. Now being bullied all the way back to his spawn. A little over two and a half left before the second checkpoint. The cover you know, Doomfist, I don't think it was actually that bad, but no, the Genji, 70% yeah. on his Dragon Blade builds up. They do have a Transcendence as well, so they can push in aggressively. They know Nuriki has no defensive ultimates, and Nuriki has to kind of respect that, and that maybe potentially back away. That's a good substrate coming through. Somehow kills the Death who actually, I think, was around the corner, or was almost around the corner. Maybe just like one of his hairs was just far enough around that he eventually did fall here. And Mr. Hamster forced that come range on Twitty because he was hitting those headshots back to back like a machine gun. And Twitch just trying to force Lucio back into his own spawn here, trying to stop actually people from getting there potentially. They get the D suit as well. Leave him, let him go back to his spawn, because either he's going to switch heroes and re suit back up and lose all of his ult percent, or he has to stay as many Diva. Yeah, uh, that's a really good point. Switch. Yeah, head switch, but now he's at zero ult charge, and that's something that you would need if you're going to break out here. Actually, self destruct would be nice to be able to buy some space here, and they are playing this as aggressive as aggressive can be. The spawn camp is on in full effect. Karma has had to chase down Baba. There are, they do trade out a couple of heroes. Good for the offense considering while well, we are fighting inside the offensive spawn for the most part here transcend will come out to the defense they are not done fighting yet they're just winning this on a mechanical level not be trying to get to his team but if this is where you're posting up you're in a rough spot a little yeah. over a minute jason yeah it's not looking good at all here they're gonna have a sound ready to push it up with but baba has his visor not shelly about half hp and look at this Nurky just gonna be back away they're not gonna actually force any sort of fight here just yet they will respect that they're kind of outmanned at the moment, outgunned, potentially in terms of ultimates. And then they look for another fight in another day. But they've given up, uh, you know, some room for Kavarowski to actually get aggressive here on this Tracer. Try to go for the flanks, but that Soundbird prevents him from really getting any kills. But they understand the situation, which I'd like to retreat there. They understand they really only have to win one more fight, and then this is going to be over, and they can move on to the Deciders match, though. But that fight does have to be won. Ronsky able to take down the Winston on the other side. They're trading out rather quickly early on. Ronsky shows up. Pulse Bomb sticks. 4v4 now going on, but not enough men to feel comfortable fighting on the cart, so they're going to have to wait for another day. Alt from Rusty comes out, and you can see the results of it. Not anyone around. A nice zoning tactical visor. Yeah, I mean, as you see, like, you know, that's what McCree became. Yeah. Zoning Deadeye. He's already attacked visor. I've heard that before. Twitty, though, he's going to have his Karma Rage. <laughs> he's going to also have a Transcend on top of Monster, but Baba takes that Ronsky off the bat. So, with him getting on the high ground, he's actually able to limit the control that they can use. Unfortunately for him, the Diva does get the reset right next to him, and that's going to allow Ashiel to be aggressive. But the problem is they've lost on quite a few people here. If they finish off these last few remaining men, then Nuriki's going to have that rematch they want against the Hellseeker Reds and the Decider match today. Ashiel getting de-suited off. He's going to eventually be finished as well, and I think that's going to do it here. Aces, unfortunately, are going to fall here in Group E and be going home early. As now Nariki is going to be going for that rematch. They want that grudge match against Helsinki Reds. This was the spot that we kind of had up for grabs, right? When we looked at Nariki and we said they could be the dark horse of this. We, we know some of these players. We know that they could be good. And then you yeah. look at Helsinki, an established team, been together for a while. And we kind of knew how the a Group A was going to go. And it went how we expected. Gamers Origin and Ents got out of that one. We knew that, you know, barring something terrible, that... Uh, former NIP was going to get out of this group, but this was the spot that we didn't know. This decider match coming up. This one yeah. is going to be hard to pick. And yeah. it went to three earlier, and I still don't really know. So it's, it should be a good one coming up for the decider. New Ricky versus Helsinki Reds will be our final match of the evening or morning or afternoon, wherever you are. It's a time of day somewhere. Yeah. That's, that's all I. That's all I really know. That's all I know <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. They played Hollywood, Ilios, and Watchpoint Gibraltar, and I was thinking Reds won on Hollywood and Watchpoint Gibraltar. So I'm curious to see if we're gonna have maps specifically banned away um, from them at a new Ricky, or if Nurki's like, all right, well we saw what happened before. They feel like they can work around and fix the mistakes they did yeah. make because there were still close matches between the two. It wasn't like a stomp. 
No, they're very close matches, and even I, th I think on the control they ended up taking a couple stages off of each other back and forth. I it seems like a year ago it was only a couple hours ago, but it was definitely close between these two teams, and it's a tough one. It's whoever loses this decider match, home, and then whoever wins gets to play tomorrow against and, Gamers Origin. Yes, but, so it's like but it's, not, a, like but it's a, easier for you. But it's right? a best of three semi, right? Which could if you steal one of them early and then go to an assault, best of three, you can beat a team that's better than you. Easily. Is that what they say about best of ones? Well, yeah. the best of, I know in like Counter Strike, like they always say about best of ones. That's why they hate best of ones. But best of three, will generally see who the best team is. The but Overwatch, the longer it goes, the more decisive it is that yeah. the one team is better than the other. Yeah. That's why you see it in traditional sports as well. Best of fives in early years for, for playoffs and best of sevens World Series. Yeah, I mean, we're going to see how it's going to happen. Obviously, that will be the match that's coming up next. It's going to be a rematch of the two Kiel teams. Stomp, I say, say thank you, Jason and Robert. Congratulations, Perry, going to get Done. your revenge against Helsinki Reds. Yeah, it feels, feels pretty good. This was our first official match victory, and we're hungry for more. Was the difference in team skills so big that it showed, or was there some mistakes what the opponent made? Uh, yeah, there's a big difference in skill, obviously, between Aces and Helsinki Reds, but Aces are an up-and-coming team, and I'm sure they'll be really good in no time at all. What are the keys for your victory against the Helsinki Reds in the upcoming Desider match? Uh, those are trade secrets, so I won't reveal them. We'll just play our own game. All right. Thank you for the interview. Thank you. And for that note, we're going to go a quick commercial break, and then it's Group B Desider match between Helsinki Reds and New Rick Airsports. Don't go too far.